hello everyone uh, myself uh, shudipto so in this video uh, i will show a short de de demonstration of uh, single phase inverter gate pulse uh, by utilizing uh, the blue pill or uh, stm32 based uh, basic board stm32 uh, f103 c6 c8 t8 okay so this actually you can see this is actually the blue pill board and uh, this is the gate pulse for a single phase inverter uh, in my inverter series video uh, i have explained uh, that uh, uh, individual four switches needs uh, gate pulses to be uh, driven and uh, this is the two gate pulse and uh, the corresponding or the uh, inverse of this gate, gate pulse will be faded into the corresponding legs so uh, by utilizing these two gate pulse we could easily generate four gate pulse and uh, will fade the uh, in inverter so uh, in an another sense uh, this this first pulse will be the pulse for uh, s1 and s4 and uh, the second pulse will be for s2 and s3 uh, this, uh, this this pulse will be responsible for generating the uh, in inverting section of sine wave and this pulse will be uh, for the positive sine wave this pulse will be uh, responsible for generating the positive pulse of the sine wave and all the pulses are generated by the blue pill and uh, i am currently running uh, the uh, qyd uh, software for pin con configuration as well as uh, for uh, coding purposes here you can see this is my, my microcontroller and um, i am currently using ps6 and ps7 for uh, pwm uh, varying pwm output and uh, i am actually using uh, the uh, external uh, resonator the ceramic resonator and in my blue pill uh, there is uh, basically uh, 8 megahertz uh, here you can see uh, this is actually uh, 8 megahertz crystal uh, and uh, in all blue pill it, it will be 8, 8 megahertz uh, i guess uh, that i have worked on and uh, this is my clock configuration so you can see i am using the 8 megahertz as my input frequency and i am currently using the 72 megahertz maximum which is the maximum frequency of blue pill uh, for my operations and let me show the timer configuration so i am using uh, two time timers for individual two jobs uh, so first timer is uh, generating the sine wave and the second timer is uh, generating uh, the gate pulse and i am using uh, two channels uh, of this timer and um, you, you could easily use another timer for this job but uh, i am using two uh, channels for uh, of one timer and these two two channels are these two channels okay so these are the some configuration and uh, another interesting thing is uh, that uh, uh, you could easily uh, I have implemented the code such a way that you could easily uh, change uh, the switching frequency and the carrier frequency uh, switching frequency and the uh, modulating frequency here you can see in my code I have set it the switching frequency sorry the modulating frequency of sine line of frequency is 50 hertz uh, as in Bangladesh it's 50 hertz and uh, the carrier frequency or the switching frequency is 30 kilohertz so um, uh, let me uh, upload the code to the board so here you can see the board is uh, being burned and uh, let me uh, tell you another thing is that uh, uh, in this video i will not go deeper into the coding part um, so so this is the gate pulses and here you can see uh, the main code in the main code uh, the carrier frequency is 30 kilohertz but it's showing uh, the half of the uh, switching frequency because uh, i have uh, because this portion this portion is not present okay so as this portion is not present uh, my oscilloscope is considering as half of um, its uh, switching frequency but the switching frequency is actually uh, 30 kilohertz in in my operation so here you can see let me uh, zoom zoom in a little bit and this is the gate pulses and uh, let me uh, show uh, the uh, dead band also because in hardware implementation we know that dead, dead band is point essential uh, because in same leg uh, if the dead band it will uh, uh, the, no, not present it will short the legs in my theoretical explanation video for single phase inverter i have cleared what is dead dead band and why it's necessary okay so here you can see let me stop the pulse and let me zoom in a little bit and let's capture a pulse and uh, let me zoom in more little bit and uh, so here is the here is the dead, dead band and let me uh, add a cursor and uh, let's see uh, what's the time of the dead band so here you could see uh, um, okay so this is the dead band actually here you can see this is the dead, dead band gap and uh, from the 
uh, differential session we could see that the red band is around 145 microsecond which is quite good uh, for single phase inverter or uh, for uh, uh, sensitive application it's it's quite good uh, uh, the, this type of um, dead red band uh, so let me scale down and so these are corresponding to gate pulses and uh, let me uh, show the uh, frequency uh, the sign of frequency uh, in hardware demonstration and uh, just so what will be the frequency the frequency will be from here the sign will flow like this and stop like here somewhere around here so let me select the second curve and let me show the curve here so sign will frequency like here and Mm, let me adjust it a little bit to give you close understanding so here you can see uh, my cursor is uh, okay quite okay uh, so this, this is actually one period so sign will flow from here uh, let me zoom in a little bit so sign will flow from here and stop stop here okay so like this okay okay so uh, here you could see uh, the uh, time is 19.9 uh, millisecond 19.9 millisecond so let me grab a calculator and convert the value so let me 1 by 19.9 okay so 19.9 and uh, which is uh, what is the unit and the unit is milli so let me convert the milli into second so here you can see so what is the frequency so from the basic calculation of uh, frequency we know the frequency is uh, 1 by the time period uh, for a single uh, uh, a wave so here you can see uh, the frequency is 50 hertz and in code we have set it uh, 50 hertz okay so that's been it for this video uh, so if you need any kind of help to implement uh, this uh, signal into your hardware uh, or how we could generate this type of signal from stm32f4 blue pill um, uh, let me know if you need any kind of help uh, i will uh, uh, give you all the necessary files and codes that how you could easily generate uh, by yourselves or if you want to know in detail how the signal is generating or which part of the code is responsible for which one uh, let me know in in, in in the comment also and uh, i'll show you some demonstration about how the prescaler works and uh, how the con uh, uh, how prescaler and how the counter is working and how i am comparing the uh, sine wave to the short tooth wave or triangular wave so i think uh, that will be for another video so thank you again everyone for joining me in this demonstration thank you